Guys, the first thing I want to acknowledge today is the fact that we have a new background. I don't think you guys are as excited as I am. It's not possible. It took me so long. I had to rearrange everything in this entire room to make it look nice. And I feel like it's going to add a completely different vibe to the channel. I hope so. I'm just really excited. And I wanted to share that with you before we get into the video. This is the first time I'm recording with the new like background setup. So yeah, for today's video, I am watching the 2001 comedy film, Super troopers this is a film that has been recommended to me so many times over the course of two years i think that i have had this on a poll forever it's, it's basically a comedy film about state troopers and these state troopers just kind of get up to shenanigans. I don't know, I like early 2000s comedy, so we're gonna see how this goes today. If you guys are interested in watching the full-length reaction along with me, be sure to check out my Patreon. I will be linking that down below in the description. But without further ado, let's get into Super Troopers. But before we get into the video, I wanna tell you guys about today's sponsor, Bright Sellers. If you're looking for the perfect Valentine's Day gift for your loved one, or if you just want to stay in and cozy up with the perfect bottle of wine during the cold weather, then Bright Sellers is the perfect service for you. Bright Sellers is a service that matches you with the wine that best suits your taste and lets you try different types that you wouldn't normally try yourself. All you have to do is go on their website, take a seven question quiz on what your preferences are, and Bright Sellers instantly matches you with the wines that are best suited for you. Forget going to the store. This brings your perfect matched wine right to your door. Not to mention each box comes with informational cards that help you learn about and know details about each different wine you try. It's quick, easy, and let me tell you, worth it. It's perfect for gatherings, figuring out your own personal tastes, as well as a great gift for a loved one. Thanks, Bright Sellers, for giving my followers their first six bottle subscription box, usually $150 plus value, for only $55. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code in order to take the quiz and get started today. I am obsessed with Bright Sellers. It was absolutely one of the best decisions that I have ever made. My mom is so happy and I don't know, I just wanna say thank you. So thank you to Bright Sellers. Vermont, somewhere near the border. I like Vermont, it's a nice state. If, if you own the beach property, right? Mm -hmm. Do you own the, like, the sand and the water? No, man, you don't own the beach. You can't well, own, you own the, the sand beach. or the beach, man. What if there's a naked girl? Do you own her, is that what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. She could sue me. <laughs> yeah. He's so, why is he so wet? He's so moist. It's like they've been sweating for like seven hours straight. They were just like in a sauna and then they immediately got in the car together. That's not good. He, that man is about to die. Oh, you're done. You guys are done. Where are you boys headed? Canada. We're going over the border to Canada. You smell something, rabbit? Oh, no. Fear. <laughs> I mean, who would? Who, who wouldn't in this situation? Where? What is happening? What are they doing? They're just about to pull out my nine and put a cap in that pig's ass. <laughs> they have supersonic hearing. I don't know if you know that. You can't, <laughs> can't pull over any further. What is their end game? What's going on? I'm freaking out, man. You are freaking out. Littering and smoking the reefer. <laughs> Not the what? This is part. The the driver is a is a dummy. That was an officer of the law. <laughs> Why? How could you? Oh no, we left the head behind. What do you do? What is he? Th I swear, if he runs into his own home. Now I'm gonna pay you, but I shouldn't, because I knew it was you the whole time. Okay, so he's one of them. He's a trooper. When do I get to do that? You get your chance, Rook. Shots. What do you mean? You have kids in the back? Oh, just for him, huh? As aren't you on shift? Unit 23, come in 23. Listen, we got the uh, Miata, we're okay. Do you need my assistance? 
With the dopers. <laughs> oh my god, they're messing with them! They're just messing with them! And they're gonna steal the car. You boys like Mexico! Yeah! <laughs> I love this man! That's the opposite direction of what they're where, where they wanna go! There's no poutine in Mexico. Alright. Strong start. Very strong. I'm loving it. Go, girlfriend. I'm your mother. Ah, uh, too rabbit. sweet. I feel the it. diabetes oh, setting in. He's killing you. Oh. Oh, it hurts to watch. So much of my authority is derived from the power right here. How often are they drinking maple syrup? They're single-handedly keeping that company in business. Why couldn't they chug ketchup? <laughs> I will have the enchilada platter. I'll take a chinchilla. Chinchilla? It's an animal, sir. They think I'm Mexican. You're not Mexican? <laughs> oh, what the f***? <laughs> I love him. <laughs> it's crazy, because at least here... State troopers are f super feared, opposed to like cops. Like state troopers are like a force to be reckoned with. You do not mess with a state trooper. Let's get started. It's down to Flagstone, Deerlick, and us. If we keep up these low numbers, you can bet your sweet butts we're gonna get the big ugly axe. Who wants cream? Okay, no cream. <laughs> I like him. He's funny. He's like hee hee. Every Thursday night, I walk into the lodge, and they always have my old fashioned just waiting there. I like that. Let's do your jobs and keep this place open, huh? Your suspension continues. What did he? Do? Why did he get suspended? I need to know. You guys forget what color your car is. What are you guys doing here? Hand over your license and registration. All right, meow. Where were we? <laughs> are, you, are you saying meow? <laughs> meow. <laughs> I could have sworn you said meow. Do I look like a cat to you, boy? No. <laughs> Well, do you see me eating mice? <laughs> Not so funny now, is it? <laughs> what a power move, issuing him a ticket and then just saying meow in his face. Thanks for washing my car, Rook. I heard something funny about how you got suspended. Something about a school bus full of kids. What did he do? Did he pull over a school bus full of kids? Did he ticket the kids? You better watch your ass. I don't know why he hates him so much. Wanna go, mister? Yeah, yeah. You wanna take one? Oh, you smell huh? pretty. We no, got baby. a 1092. Let's go. Nice wax job, Rook. <laughs> Put your game face on. You got it, boss. I hope you guys got that reference. Never mind. Oh, there's uh dead people. Hey, don't touch the crime scene. Yeah, why right? would you do that? Johnny Chimpo. Stop touching the crime scene. Did you guys get oh. shut down already? Oh, yeah, that's next week. <laughs> oh my god, what did he what did he do to him? Law enforcement departments are just fist fighting each other? Get him loose. This is our crimes. We are taking it. It's highway. It's our jurisdiction. No. Yes, yes. What in the hell has gotten into you guys? I told you this was a bad time, but you go ahead and get into a battle royale with the locals at a crime scene. Who was there to take a photo? They want us to blow it. We look like a bunch of p***s. What were they doing in the locker? Why were they doing that to him? Guess I'll just go take a shower then, huh? He just like let it happen. <laughs> what is <laughs> This kind of looks like a fun job, not gonna lie. If they do shut you down, maybe you could stick around here. Too sick, I'm darling. All right, all right, come on now, watch the ball, hit it. You got it. Whoa! <laughs> One cop in the pack is really passionate about this little glee game. Anybody want a corn dog? Oh! I like that he has a pocket on his back. I don't know how he would get to it, but I like that it's there. There you go. Hope I don't get brain freeze. Yeah, I'm not sure you've got the required equipment. Oh god, she got you. Had a really good time at that Winnebago fight. You can slug me back if you want to. Hold my snow cone. Okay. Heads up! Oh my god! Oh. What? Whoa! Eat it or lose it. Hey, shut your pie hole. Someone's holding it from the back. I'd really like to get some field work. Why don't you take your radio and go stand in a field? <laughs> Move that gigantic cotton candy. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Move that gigantic cotton candy. Grady's not here. I'll take the file. About Officer Rando. Just give me the file. So are you originally from Vermont? He just wants to get to know her. I just don't date cops. 
More like a civilian trapped in a cop's body. All right, well, it's probably time for you to get out of here. A couple of hyenas. <laughs> hyenas. Whoa, looks like that truck's planning on skipping the way in. Why didn't you weigh in? Yeah, why didn't you weigh in? They got me running so many miles, I just must have dazed at him. Well, what are you pulling back what there? What are you pulling back there? Well, uh, mostly just soap. I... okay, let's see. Are we about to see something serious? Up on up. Okay, Both of them? Dilly I have a flashlight in the cab. What did I say? Both of them? What do you even do in this situation? Awesome. Afternoon. He just left the trailer? <laughs> okay. Pushing your car to Lake LeBlanc right now. Oh, man. Nah, we just parked it across the street. What's this guy moving? Soap, I think. Where did the guy go? Oh, not soap. More like drugs. Soap on the side. That's not drugs. Oh, it's weed. Reefer. Wait, and that's the same tattoo that that girl had who's dead and had the pig in her trailer. What do we know about this Golly Canucas guy? Fake name, fake license. Oh, we got 150 kilos of marijuana and no arrests. The woman in Winnebago had the same logo tattooed on her back. Imagine having a logo tattooed on you. What's the significance of this John Chimpo? You know those really cheap Japanese cartoons? This is basically a cheaper Afghani knockoff. Is that what they do in Arabia, Thorny? How the hell should I know? You ready for the photo shoot? Oh. They're flexing. They're flexing in, in front of the weed. We got a murder one day, a drug bust the next. We need as much police as we can get. Spread it on. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, man. Uh, oh, better go get him. You're okay, right? Yeah, Farba, I got a Porsche Brown Washington plates. <laughs> I love this song. <laughs> Do you know why I pulled you over? Because we were driving way too fast. Is there maybe something you would like me to do to you? Perhaps some spanking and cuffing. Imagine offering y your your partner to get out of a speeding ticket. No, you are not saying yes. There's a kid right there. Bruh. Oh my god. 23, that Porsche is hot. Are you sure? Oh my god, there's a child! They're on the side of the highway, it's like a whole thing. Just pretend it's like a kinky thing. Put your hands in the car and spread. Ooh, he's ready oh, too. Get back in the car! Would you please put your hands behind your back? No, things are getting kinky, you know? My guy, do your job! Climb up on Uncle Rabbit's lap, Arlo, okay? I don't think that's such a good idea, Thorn. Why don't you just sit in the middle, all right, buddy? Ew. <laughs> At least they didn't resist like crazy. Do you want me to wipe your ass? My wife knows to refill the TP. Mm. You know, if you were my wife, I'd massage your feet every night until you fell asleep. Nice try. <laughs> Why is he even there? Apparently she had a cartoon monkey tattooed on her back. Uh, those stickers had the same monkey logo, so we think there might be some kind of connection. Keep your bags packed, John. Let us handle the real police work. We gotta show this man up. He sucks. We have to show him up. They have one song in the car. Can you imagine paying that little for gas? Ugh, what a dream. Ooh. He's bored, I guess. <laughs> so bad. Yikes, what did you think was gonna happen? Probably just gets it down to Brattleboro. It's a nice town. Stop jumping on the bed. Yibi Kaye, motherfucker. Oh, aren't they still in jail? That's this address, ma'am. Oh, well, then maybe you can see him. Okay, this is not how you win someone over. Please don't shoot me. I'm, <laughs> I'm naked. I'm going to show you where the wild goose goes. <gasps> oh, no. I'm on a butter your bread. Wait, how did she do that so quickly? I don't suppose you got a pair of fresh underwear I can borrow. <laughs> I'm not Wait. Sure you could fit into my panties. That worked? How did that work? This is a crime scene! Do we find more drugs? Oh my god! They did! 
So after I jimmy the door, I do a quick recon. How could you know to look underneath the bed? It must have been my sixth, or even my seventh sense. Oh, not the seventh sense. Find out what you can about Gallicanucus and Bunty Soap. I'll talk to Grady and play a little hardball. Thorny, no more bull**** can take no responsibility for these white devils. These white devils. Jerry Rose jabbing my ass. Mm -hmm. I feel like something bad's about to happen. In our cruiser, somebody has to let you out of the backseat. I was gonna say, they're probably trapped. Oh, no. Oh, it. Mm. She doesn't even care. What do you mean? They're just gonna be trapped there. Do you think they're gonna tell us anything if they know we're cops? Get a job, man. Plus, we can't take our car until they replace the door you, for no reason whatsoever, removed last night. Oh my, I feel like they blew half their budget on wigs. I really do, because <laughs> look at these things, look at them. I came up, uh, came up with a great name for our car. You're Arcot Ramathorn, and I'm Rod Farber. Car Ramrod, car Ramrod, you get it? Yeah. The more you repeat it, it's not gonna get any better. <laughs> Come on, Ramathorn, what game we playing? What? No games. Don't bullshit me. For 20 bucks, I'll call the guy a chicken f***er. See, he's taking things way too far. You can't do this. License and registration? Chicken f***er? And now I know why no one wants to work with him. Either you let us in on this investigation, or I'm going to embarrass you personally. Naked in a dream? Embarrassed? Embarrassed like back in 77 when you got caught f***ing your cousin embarrassed? What? That's rough. That's bad. Double bacon cheeseburger? Double bacon cheeseburger, it's for a cop. You gonna spin it now? No, I was just telling him that so he makes it good. I think that they're gonna spin in it. That's what my fear would have been. Like, I'd be like, what are you gonna spin it? Do you want to dip a size your meal for a quarter more? Want me to punch a size your face for free? I gotta go, let's talk about this later, okay? I don't want it. Right, give me a uh, liter of cola. Do we make liter of cola? Liter is French. <laughs> He's too aggressive. That look like spit to you? Yeah, I feel like a real cop again. Because you're abusing your aggression and stuff? You think that's what a cop does? Because it's not. You should stay back there. You should stay behind the phones. <laughs> I don't like how aggressive he is. I don't want to leave her and Arlo. Yeah, like I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Yeah, who gives a shit? I'm about to win 10 million bucks anyway, right? You son of a bitch! <laughs> oh my god! You can't be doing that! He deserves it. Actually, I don't know what they're doing to him. They're washing him? Cut it out, you guys. Knock it off. Clear out of here, all I don't understand what they were doing. Throwing flour and water on him? It's powdered sugar. Oh. The lice hate the sugar. Say, Rod, what are your plans after the shutdown? We're not getting shut down, Grady. We're drug busters. Oh my god, he's gonna tell him everything. He's the worst. We've been trying real hard to break it open, but O'Hagan just will not cooperate with the evidence. Can I go now? Hey, we could even chase drug dealers together. Can we make a deal? I'm all highway. Oh, he has loyalty. I respect it. Hey, Charlie's Angel. I think I think a shower would be, they have showers there. Could have just let him rinse. Farva went schizoid. How'd the undercover thing go? Well, not so good. Turns out this guy can't drive a semi. You guys watch that Johnny Chimpo thing? There's nothing there. Maybe we should take another look. <laughs> They're just smoking weed and watching cartoons? What kind of job is this? They're having so much fun together. Yeah, I can't... I can't believe he did that. His anger is way too much. He should have been, like, discharged or something. You can't have an officer of the law who's like that. Oh, he's throwing the bur he's throwing burgers at him. You're off the road, never again. You're my cleaning lady. Beat it! <laughs> this is like the chillest guy ever. He's just everywhere. You must remain <laughs> true to the Taliban warlord. <laughs> I like that he's so cool that he doesn't really care that much. Get this meatball out of here. They got it, I just got off the phone with Tom Mercado from the budget committee. This thing with Farber screwed up, pooch. Hey, rabbit. Have your fun, boys. Have your fun. He's the only one who takes all of this seriously. Hey, nurse. Ah. The governor comes to town on Saturday for that big thing, right? Get the reefer out of the Winnebago and give it to her. With all that media there, she would love us for it. There's no way she'll shut you down. How about if I just help you get in? But I feel like, but she can get in trouble. <laughs> Why did you show up in this? Get on all morning. How about that little fella? Oh, that little guy. I wouldn't worry about that little guy. Oh, no. I can't watch this. Ah! You and I can get into the impound, get the reefer, and get it to the governor's 
What was he choking on? Did he swallow the bullet? But I don't understand what that was. I invented this gag, rabbit. Don't let him shoot you. Also use blanks. Why'd you call me up here? If I was a betting man, I'd put money on us uh, changing the governor's mind tonight. Hello, what is this thing again? Humane Society? I love how they're all taking this extremely seriously and she's like, I don't even know why I'm here. What is this? I'll tell you what, I'll go down there and check it out. What about me? All right, f*** it. Oh, oh, they just left the station unattended? So, what do you do in this situation? Open bar, ain't it? Can we just lock him in the cage? In the cell? Yeah, I tried to call you, but, um... Yeah, right! We can't just lock him in a cell- in a cell and keep him there? Hey, hey, whoa! Whoa! Aw, oh, she's gonna speak in about five minutes. Neck attack! Wanna go punch for punch? Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Lady in blue, coming through! <laughs> Lady in blue, coming through! <laughs> Did you not? What if? Oh my God! What if there's not even? What if that's not in there? Local police chief Bruce Gray. What's in there? Has made yet another astonishing breakthrough. Uh, we have identified the dead woman, drug queen pin from Louisville, Kentucky, Lucy Garfield. They're screwed. What are they gonna do? How are they gonna keep their jobs? What are you getting out of this? Is Grady putting you on the road? Uh <laughs> Maybe she's like disappointed that he's losing his job. Why else would she be acting this way? I don't I don't get it. Traitor. Was there ever a moment when you suspected her? No, why would I? Fighting's not gonna change anything. That's a lot of denim. That's a lot of gene right there. Calvin Klein would be proud. Three articles of, of denim. Good now. I applied for a guard job. Oh, You'll man. finally get to shoot someone. What? I don't think that's something you want to do. To the death of fun. Here's to you guys. What's up, dirty dogs? He sold him out. Knew it, Farva. God, he's the worst. Why are you wearing that uniform in my station? Look who's talking, Denim Dan. Listen, I made the denim joke first. They ratted us out to Grady. I'm not even gonna dignify myself with a response to that. You are the worst officer here, and yet he gets the, like, stick. He gets the best case scenario. Body him. Get me a liter of cola. The worst thing they could put Farva through is just have him do his job normally because he's such a terrible officer that he's just going to mess everything up for himself anyway. Speeding, drinking, just causing chaos, havoc. Oh, we are getting him back good. Sound like a weenie, but I think I should call her. Some no way! Like weenie. Oh, Give me the radio. Yeah, they're losing. They already lost their department. This is not a civilian channel. If you'd like to have a conversation with someone, please go to channel five. This is a really bad idea. Farmer was the one who told Grady about our plan. Yeah. Why didn't you say anything? She must have known. She was there. You want to get these guys back? I know a way we can get them really good. How? I love how she hates her job so much. She's helping the other. Meet me at Route 9 in Okeechobee Road and don't be late. Is this your usual meeting spot? No. There he is. Let's go. Let's get that man. You're all under arrest for stealing a Spurberry police vehicle. How'd you get out of the cuffs? You are not stopping me Yours from is better. My job back. Get it back. back. I barely had a job before. I'm a cop, goddammit. Your own fault. This is your big chance. You can be a hero. There's Canadian markings on that plane. It's a plane. You say there's Canadian markings on that plane? As if it's like some ancient civilization. Bro, what? What the? The local cops are selling Afghani grass to the Canadians? They're helping them um, move it. That's what it is. Have the local law enforcement in on it? I've known for a while. I was afraid I'd lose my job. No offense, but the less you guys knew, the less you could screw up. She kind of got a point. Nice, okay. We can do stuff with that. Burn it. 
What is in there? On what? Looks like we got him. Rock and roll. What the hell are you doing here? Put a bullet in him, Grady. What is this? Ew! What's, what are you gonna do? Can you run them over? They're shooting at you. That's your girl? This is a bad idea. They all have guns and they're drunk. What do they th What do they think is gonna happen? They just wanna brawl. Look at them swinging in the back. I feel like calling the FBI, I don't know, would be better. Looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm glad no one's shooting each other. They at least have enough respect to like 1v1 with fists, you know? Tag him! Tag him! It's a beautiful home. All these houses are very nice. We regret oh, to inform you no. that we are still going to have to close your station and give your man my best. They did everything they could, though. They did a massive service to them, and they can't even reestate that? Okay, three months later. Take out the local cops. Put the state troopers in. That's the least they could do. Bear! You ordered the keg of St. Anki? My dad ordered it, but he's asleep right now. God, no. No, no, no. Hey, man, hey. He looks so scared. <laughs> Put it in the rec room, man. Yeah, come on in. Yeah. How old is this crowd supposed to be? They're trying to be underage, right? Like, that's what they're trying to go for? Like, under 21? They didn't do a good job. This is <laughs> really bad casting on their part. Are you ready for the fun part? Oh, yeah. Fire rifle <gasps> Oh, hell yeah! Hell yeah! Dude, I love that! Oh, my God, I'm so happy! Oh, my God, I'm so happy! You're still working? Ah, I love that! Oh my god, that was such a perfect way to end it. This movie. <laughs> I'm done with them. <laughs> Wait, but they're in trouble. They can't get in trouble. They're the law. <laughs> I want more comedies like that. So I just finished watching Super Troopers and I very loved it. I loved the comedy. I thought, it, I thought it was so silly, so ridiculous. I really do like early 2000s comedy. You can't help but put a smile on your face. Everybody complimented each other so well. I felt like every single character played a, an important role. Like they, whether it be within the story or to be to like help in a dynamic. I don't know how to explain it. It's a comedy film. I don't know, you, you have fun. You like watching it because they're so stupid, like ridiculous. They just get up to these shenanigans. And I think it's just funny because we get to see people who are like kind of in power like that. And they just get up to these like dumb things that anyone when they were a teenager would do. I didn't expect it to have such a interesting plot. I, yeah, there was like plot twists that I just didn't expect. Like that they weren't, they were gonna get shut down, then they weren't gonna get shut down. They had like dirt that the local cops didn't have, but then the local cops did have it because there was an insider. I didn't expect it to be that like complex or like have that much more depth, but I gotta say, I really like the characters. The, co the comedic aspect of this film is just amazing. It is <laughs> such a classic. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm glad that I finally watched it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, let me know if you guys like the, the background. Okay, bye everyone. Bye.